today we will be talking about photography go see competition um, I'll go over some rules some tips from the team as well as um, wardrobe and things like that but I'm just gonna wait for more people to pop on here Okay, so I'm gonna try to get through all the info. I am gonna leave the comments on, and then as the questions come through, I will try to answer as best as I can, as quickly as I can, but like I said, I do wanna get through all of this information. So today, I'll only be talking about Photography Go See and only answering questions that have to do with Photography Go See. Alrighty, and I will cover the size and the type of finish. Okay, so um, Photography Go See competition. This competition is to set up a real life go see in the modeling industry. So that means this is when models will go and meet reps, um, whether those are managers or agents um, or casting directors or sometimes even clients. And it gives them the opportunity to show their model book, so their portfolio, or um, really just give off a great first impression and show their personality. So um, it comes up a lot in this industry. So if you are interested in modeling, um, go sees are something that you do have to become comfortable with. So this competition is really set up to give you that experience. Every single rep at CMPC will be at this competition. Um, and essentially you walk around a room holding two photos. Um, I'll go over all the rules in just a second, but I just wanted to describe it to you all. So you're gonna, every contestant, so it's four and up, we'll have two photos. You'll walk around the room. Um, the reps are sitting in the room and you're walking past their table and you're showing your two photos. Um, and they can ask you a question. Um, <laughs> Sarah, I just went over what a go see is. So go see is when you are meeting um, managers, agents, so potential representation and or clients. So um, this is really where you meet them for the first time and see if you're a great match, whether it's personality um, as well as how you photograph. So they're going to be looking at all of those things. So for the competition at CMTC, it is set up true to that. Um, but you'll go in, you can have two prints, only two prints. Um, they have to be big enough for the reps to be able to see as you are kind of holding them across the table. Um, our team suggests nine by 12 as that's kind of um, standard for our portfolio size. Um, if you have to print them and they seem a little blurry, um, being that big when you're printing them out, just go for a smaller size then and just work your way down until it is a clear image. But we do um, suggest nine by 12 as it's big enough for the reps to see. Okay, um, but it's not required. It's just suggested nine by 12. Um, so you're gonna be holding one photo in each hand. Um, the photos must be loose so they can't um, be in a portfolio and they can't be um, put in any type of plastic protection. Uh, we wanna see the actual print. Um, they can be in color or black and white. Um, so you can do a combo of both. If you want one image to be black and white and one image to be colored, that's fine. Um, and like I said, any size is acceptable, but we do recommend nine by 12, okay? We wouldn't recommend any bigger than that as um, you still want them to be able to see you and your body behind the camera and your face. Um, so nine by 12, again, is what we recommend. Um, so you do have to hold them so they're visible to the judges. You are walking kind of slow across the room. If a rep can't see your photo for any reason, especially the ones who are actually judging the competition, they'll just ask you to slow down um, so they can take a good look at it. They are allowed to ask questions during the competition, so they might stop you. Um, I'll go over some, some typical questions that might be asked and give you some tips for those. Um, and this competition is closed to the audience. So that means parents for my four to sevens and eight to elevens, um, for the lineup, you can be with them. But as soon as they enter that room, there will be a point where CMTC staff ask you to just wait and let your little one go through. And again, this is the way it works in the, in the modeling industry and even the acting industry. They go in by themselves and they have to be able to um, talk to the reps. Of course, with the little ones, if you do, um, or if they do mess up or get a little nervous or anything like that, that's okay. Um, we do expect that from some of the little ones, so that's not a problem. We just kind of have to let them have that experience of going in and talking um, for themselves, okay? Um, so that really covers the rules. I will send an email on Friday um, just kind of summing up those rules, but they're also on our website in the convention info page, okay? 
Um, so wardrobe. So wardrobe for the competition, um, we suggest those who are four to seven, eight to 11, so parents, they can be dressed however they are comfortable. So dress them like kids. They want to see them looking like kids. Um, and you don't want to force them to wear anything they don't want to wear because then they're just going to be unhappy when they're walking through the room. And we don't want that. We want them to be themselves and let um, their personality shine as well as their photos speak for themselves. Um, so they, that age range can really wear whatever they want. Um, for those 12 and up, for modeling go most agencies will suggest that their models wear um, black or white as well as um, jeans or form-fitting leggings for the girls with heels. Um, even those black strap heels are perfect. Um, again, it's not required, it's just suggested because that's really how um, most agents will ask their models to attend to go see. Um, for guys, jeans and a form-fitting t-shirt is perfect as well. Um, you can show your personal style, but you also wanna be able to show your frame um, and not uh, take anything away from your face or your photos. Okay, um, let me see here. Um, we do have a Pinterest page and we do have some wardrobe inspo uh, pinned to some of the boards. So just check that out as well if you're looking for um, info. Um, black and white tops or black pants too. So um, Chloe, that's up to you. Um, we do suggest like black, white or combo both or just regular. Um, blue jeans are fine as well. Again, it's just kind of, um, you don't want to retract or keep it simple. You don't want to retract um, from your photos or your face um, and you do want to show your figure. Okay. Um, so let me look at your your, some of your questions here. Um, the auditions for CMC 2020 are done. Um, you can go on our website and um, submit for next year's auditions. We don't have any audition dates posted yet, um, but you can um, submit your info and then you'll, we'll reach out to you when we have planned auditions in your city. Um, the photos submitted, so the photos you'll use for this competition, please, 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 please bring printed photos for this competition. This is now the only competition that you need to print photos for because cover and commercial print are now submitted digitally. Um, and you don't need to bring a portfolio to CMTC. If you have one, um, it's suggested that you bring it because then if you see a rep, you can show them your portfolio. Um, however, for this competition, they need to be printed. There is nowhere in the hotel for you to print your photos. Um, so if you have photos, they don't need to be professional. Um, if they are, then you can likely um, get them printed. If not, just um, use those digital copies that you have and go to Costco or Walmart, um, anywhere close to your area. Um, to get them printed. This is about a photography go see competition. Um, Jarrett, that's completely up to you. Um, it's however you kind of want to um, market your image, um, whatever way works for you is, is best. Um, that really doesn't matter to us. There's no um, rules for or against that. Um, so you can represent yourself however you'd like and just show your personality in your images as well. You can wear a crop top. Uh, we suggest though uh, dressing age appropriate. Um, for girls, if you are gonna wear a skirt, make sure it's not too short. Um, again, you want to also present yourself in a professional manner. And for girls or guys or under the age of 12, just dress appropriately with your age. Um, same thing with models over the age of 12. Dress appropriately, um, professionally, and I would follow some of our recommendations for sure. And yep, so this competition is the same. It is the same for ages four to seven, eight to 11, all divisions. You will go in with your division, um, but you will be seeing every single rep in the room. Let me see. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back um, and start with our tips and then I'll go back to some of these questions. Um, so, cause this will answer some of your questions. So for the photos, we suggest two different photos. So don't, show up with two of the same photos, even if one's black and white and one's colored, show up with two different ones because the point of this is being able to show um, variety in your photos, in the way you move, in your pose, in your facial expressions. Um, so we do recommend one close up and one full length. Um, however, that is up to you. 
Um, but you do want to be able to, like I said, show your different ex poses, your different expressions, and your different movements. Um, so definitely use photos that are geared towards what you're interested in. So if you're interested in commercial modeling, you want your photos to look a little more presentable. You want your photos to look, um, and by presentable I mean from a commercial point of view. So you want to be approachable, you want to be maybe smiling, um, you don't necessarily have to have a product, um, but make sure you are showing um, your different movements um, and different facial expressions. So maybe one smiling, one not smiling. Um, so another really important tip is don't hold your photos in front of your face. Um, because then the reps can't see you, they can't see your face, they do look at your face and then look at how you photograph because people sometimes photograph differently than what they look like in person, um, which is totally fine. We just want to be able um, for you to be able to speak to them and then for them to also see your face in person. Um, so parents of our four to sevens and eight to elevens, please practice this with your children if they're in this competition. Um, just have them hold the photos um, and have them maybe walk a little bit, showing them um, kind of what the reps are from their point of view, what they're looking for. So maybe even have them in front of a mirror when you're showing them. Um, our staff are on site there, obviously, so we will help and we definitely try to step in when the little ones are covering their face um, and we try to stop them or turn them around and make sure that, that everything's okay and that they can, the reps can see them and see their photos. Same thing um, from the reps. If they can't see your photos or if they can't see your face or they can't see your child's face, they're going to stop and they're going to um, question them and ask them to move their little hands so they can see their photos um, and ask them any questions they may have. In saying that, um, be prepared to answer questions. It's okay if a rep doesn't ask you a question, but um, someone might. So just be prepared. Um, we, our big tip is answer in full sentences. So if you're asked what your age is, don't just say 20, say my age is 20. Um, this is giving you the ability to kind of show professionalism as well as your personality. Um, if you give a short answer like that, you just kind of seem uninterested. So again, for the kids, it's under 12. Um, we don't expect them to be so professional. Um, you can prepare them with these questions if you would like, um, but definitely for the teenagers and adults, please try to answer um, in full sentences. Um, some questions reps might ask you would be your height for those who are interested in modeling specifically um, and those that are over the age of 12 they might ask your height. If you're younger then you're clearly still growing so they'll likely not ask you. Um, your background, so your ethnic background. Um, so parents maybe talk to your kids about that as well because that is a common question. Um, and maybe even your interest, they might ask what you're here for because you're seeing all of the reps, including um, the agents for actors, um, singers, dancers, etc. Um, they might ask you why you're at CMTC and what you're interested in and maybe a modeling rep might see somebody who is in this competition who's really mainly there for acting, then you can have that conversation. Um, if you aren't asked a question, don't be discouraged. Some reps do decide to wait and hold everything back for callbacks. You can have backgrounds in your photo, absolutely, but like I said, try to gear it towards um, what you're attending CMTC for. So if it's high fashion, um, then maybe one of your images, you have a lot of makeup and the other, you don't have as much and you're doing different movements. 13-year-olds um, to wear heels. If they feel comfortable in heels, then they can wear heels. Um, they don't need to, but if they're comfortable in them um, and they're, they're there for uh, maybe fashion modeling or fashion modeling potential, um, then it is good practice for them for future go -sees when they get a little older. Do we need these photos for commercial print as well? You can use the same photos for commercial print, but again, commercial print, we will have a, a live session about that, and that is submitted before CMTC. Um, if you're able to, I suggest um, submitting different photos for your program book, cover, commercial print, and photography go see if you're in all those three competitions. Um, but you can, if you would like, use the same uh, photo for commercial print as well as this photography go see competition. Totally up to you. Um, you don't need to bring comp cards or business cards to this competition as you, your hands are already kind of full with your two photos, but you can um, bring them to CMTC for sure um, if you're around in the convention space and see a rep or for callbacks, you can give it to them then as well. The photos can be um, 9 by 12 or smaller. I wouldn't go any larger than 9 by 12, but 9 by 12 is standard for a modeling portfolio. 
Um, photos don't have to be done by a professional. So you can get a family or friend iPhones or if you have a smartphone, they have such good quality that you can take your photos with them. I um, do suggest a plain background if you're taking them yourself, um, just because then there's guaranteed no distraction and it's a clear photo. Um, we also have a Pinterest board with some examples for um, say commercial print and cover competition. So that might help you um, get a good idea for a photography go see competition. Again, the key to this competition is variety as well as showing your personality to the reps when you're actually um, in the room with them. Um, for both the pictures in the competition, should you have your hair down if long hair? Um, so maybe, f again, to show variety, Debbie, um, you can do one photo showing the long hair, um, another photo showing um, the hair up, or if both photos are of hair up, then maybe have, um, maybe wear your hair down for the actual competition um, so then they can see um, what the hair looks like up and down. Um, if you want to switch or add photography go see competition, you can do that up until um, March 1st. So just send us an email or use the request to change form through the contestant guide. Callbacks happen on the Sunday. So um, what happens is we will um, post on a Saturday or sorry Sunday morning on our website all the callbacks and the agents will circle the contestant number. We'll go through that in a different live session. If you Okay, so I'm just going to get back on track here with our tips and then I'll get back to some of these questions. Um, so like I said, be prepared to answer questions. Don't hold the photos in front of your face. Um, make sure you're showing variety in your images. Um, so two different photos. Make sure you come with them printed. Um, and for your photos, I would avoid hats and sunglasses. Um, a big reason for this is a big part of these images is your eyes and your eye contact to the camera. Um, so if you have sunglasses on, then you're taking um, away your opportunity to show the reps um, how you connect with the camera. So definitely um, avoid sunglasses and same things with hats. It can cover your face. Um, really try not to cover, your, even if you have your hand on your face and it's covering a lot of your face, just try to um, avoid that just for these two photos, I would say, okay? Um, so uh, another tip for that for an insider uh, scoop when I've been in the room for judging for commercial or cover competition, some of the reps will cover the model's eyes and look at the mouth and then cover the mouth and look at the eyes. Um, again, that's just seeing about contact, if you're being conscientious, conscientious in front of the camera. If you're someone who is taking your own photos, my suggestion, suggestion would just be um, taking a bunch of photos, a bunch of different poses, a bunch of different facial expressions and compare. Um, compare the images side by side, do that same thing and um, see what you can get as far as, um, uh, oh, my brain is just like, whoop. <laughs> um, see as if they're different. So you don't want your facial expression to be the same in every photo. You don't want the way um, your mouth is to be the same in every photo. Um, you only have the two, so again, show as much variety as you can with those two images. Okay. So hopefully I have done this competition some justice as far as explaining everything. Um, we will post this on our YouTube as well as check out our website because our website does link to two videos in particular and I did send out an email yesterday with these videos that will kind of show you behind the scenes of this competition and it taking place in the, um, the room with all of the reps and all of the um, competitors from previous years um, during this competition. Okay, so I'm just gonna look at some of your questions here. Yes, there'll be a live about the commercial print competition, Taylor. No, uh, Declan, sorry, I mean, keep your mouth um, different. Sorry, I didn't explain that very well, but um, so if you have photos and your mouth is the same in every photo, just cover your eyes and look the mouth and if your mouth's the same in every image then maybe choose a different image where you are showing two different um, movements with your mouth same thing with your eyes 
So check your eyes and see if you're making eye contact in one picture and maybe you're not in the other. Um, that's up to you. So the competition works. Again, um, please bring printed photos. There's nowhere in the hotel for you to print your images. We don't come with a printer that would be high enough quality for your images. So go to Costco, go to Walmart, um, Staples. There's several places you can go to get your photos printed, whether they're professional or not. Um, and you will walk around the room with two photos. Um, again, we'll post the video, so check it out on our YouTube or check the link in yesterday's email to you or the Friday's email. And you walk around the room and the reps are in front, a table, and the reps are standing or sitting there. And they're, you're just walking around the room showing them your two images, but they're looking at your images and they're also looking at you and they're looking at the different variety in your images. Um, and they can also ask you questions. So again, it's set up the way GoSee would be set up if you're in the modeling industry and you're meeting with different agents or managers who might be interested in representing you or if you're meeting clients who might be interested in you working for their brand. Okay, so it, um, it's first impression as far as your personality, um, the way you're dressed, professionalism, how you answer questions if they ask, as well as your photos. Okay, so um, and again, this is closed to an audience, this competition. Um, the finish can be glossy or matte, it doesn't really matter. Um, typically, um, we see a lot of glossy, but that's up to you. As long as they're clear and visible, that would be my biggest thing. Um, as long as they're visible and they're not too small uh, and they're not blurry. Um, you can just email registration at cmtc.ca if you want to add this competition or you can log into the contestant guide. Um, that is only available for CMTC 2020 registrants and you will have that password in your confirmation email and you can use the request to change form. But if you have problems with that, you can just email us at registration at cmtc.ca and ask us to add the competition for you. Um, so for four to seven and eight to 11, parents can wait in line. Anyone 12 and over, um, the parents will have a waiting area, but they just can't be in line. Um, there's just too many bodies and, and it's a pretty popular competition since all the reps are there. So we just don't have enough space for parents um, of those over 12 to be there. Taylor, um, can you please send us an email at registration at CMTC about your program book photo? Thank you. Um, so recommendations on how you should dress for this competition, again, um, for female models um, over the age of 12, if you're comfortable in heels, you can wear heels. Um, definitely, if you're female 20 plus, we do recommend heels for, for models. Um, if you're interested in acting and participating in this competition, um, that the heels don't matter, but we do either way suggest um, jeans, leggings, anything form-fitting um, that will show your figure as well as um, uh, t-shirts, keep it simple. Um, we suggest black or white for those 12 and over, but it's not required. Um, again, it's just really about keeping it simple um, and your personality should be shown through the way you're acting um, and not just kind of what you're wearing. But um, for males, jeans, t-shirt, that's fine as well. Kids can dress however they want. Okay. So as long as your um, program book photo has been submitted, we did get a lot of submissions as you can imagine. So we are working through them. We take the time to look at every single program book photo that's submitted. Um, so please be patient with us as far as receiving a confirmation email goes. If you haven't received one yet, it just means it's still in review. If we haven't received your photo and you're supposed to be in the program book, um, then you will definitely receive um, an email from us Sorry, an email from us letting you know that we um, did not receive your photo, okay? So no worries yet. Um, we haven't sent anything to the publisher just yet. I can tell you that. So um, there's still definitely time. 
So if you haven't submitted your program book photo, I would get it in as soon as possible, as in today. Um, and then we will go through all of the photos and reach out to everyone if anyone needs to resubmit or if we haven't received your image yet. Okay. So on the first day, there's an early registration or um, sign in, I should say, for those who are participating in the singing and the dance competitions as preliminaries are Wednesday evening. Um, and then there's a regular check in time for those who um, are not in those competitions. So I would just reread your confirmation email or check the last CMT Live um, information that we sent, or sorry, two weeks ago, where we covered all the different dates and deadlines. So. But if you do have any other questions about that, you can just email us at registration at cmtc.ca. Okay. Does anyone else have any more questions before I go about photography go see competition? You can definitely be holding something in your photos if you'd like. Just make sure it's nothing too distracting or taking away or covering your face. Okay, well, this will be posted to YouTube for sure. Okay. Thank you everyone so much for taking the time to listen tonight. Thanks everyone. You guys rock and I can't wait to meet you all at CMC 2020 and I will see you again next week. Have a good night.